We, um, so we've never done this in the afternoon. No, I mean, we're slobs. Look at us. I have not done anything. I've I didn't not do even my hair. showered. You didn't shower? No. I showered for my, my rendezvous. Did you shower lunch. after your rendezvous? Before. But you don't shower after? No. So is it just like all gooping out in there? <laughs> Ickies. Dude, it might be a little much. <laughs> Ickies. Anyway, I drink some coffee on the Seriously way over. You smell like semen. <laughs> oh my god. This is not the way to start this out. Um, Hello. So Jumbo. I, I drink a cup of coffee on the way over here because I, well, I thought about drinking a Red Bull. because That's I, dumb. Well, I wanted to get on the girl's level so I could pass the excitement. But I was like, Woo! maybe you should just have a cup of coffee. So I had a cup of coffee. Well, she wasn't bouncing then, off the rails. No, she was fine. So Olivia came home. Yeah. And I talked to her for two seconds. And then her and daddy had to go. Tavia was on a conference call. So tonight I'm over at Tavia's house for chicken chili tacos, which... I don't really understand what they are. They're just chicken, chicken and chili, green chili. Yeah, and then we shred the chicken. Okay. And then you get some of the chicken and the chili, and you okay. put it in your to tort. Oh, did you just pop it like that? In your tort, and uh, oh, did you bring your sour cream? Oh, you were supposed to remind me. I know. Did I do them? think I have regular vanilla Greek yogurt. Not vanilla. You got to do plain. I think I got plain. Oh, okay, perfect, cute. We'll see. Anyway, so Colin's having dinner with us. And Luke took Olivia away while we podcasted because clearly we are not kid friendly. Well, I mean, you're not right now. No. Talking about goop. Goop. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, then so. when we're done, we're going to go get Savvy James. From school, right? From Scuela. Uh, and then come home and have some tacos. And then playtime. I mean, I'm not And playing. then I'm going to be exhausted. I love that you come to play. Yeah, I'm I want to hang play. out with the girls. Yeah. I haven't want, seen them in forever. Do you want them to do your makeup, or do you want to play a game called Pie Face, where you turn a thing and... That sounds whip. kind of fun. No, Olivia already showered. I don't want her to get pie, like, whipped cream all over herself. I think we should all play. I'm not playing it. Why? Did you have you played it before? Yeah, you, like, squish whip cream on the hand, and then you roll a dice, or spin a thing to see how many times you have to turn the handles, and you put your face, and then if you... Gets you. And you don't want to play. I don't want whipped cream on my face. Why? Then Luke can lick sticky, it off later. It's sticky. Okay. Ooh, do we have to fill in on what did we? Where did we leave off? I feel like we have to like watch last week's episode to know what we were gonna keep people abreast of the situation. I know. Yeah, I don't remember. Why? What? What would you? Do? I don't, can't remember either. Well, you had something in your. Head oh, that you the toy. To did we talk about the toy? What toy? Your toy. Yeah. Didn't we talk about that? I don't think so. Oh, I thought we did. I don't think so. Okay. So Colin had afternoon sex. This is a very sexual podcast. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it. Why are you so dark and I'm not? Because you're in the light and it's focusing on you. You gotta lean back. Lean back. Lean back. Um, so you're gonna tell him about your toy? No, I thought I thought we were product reviewing it. I couldn't oh. remember. Well, so Tavia got a toy that <laughs> that apparently Kourtney Kardashian is Ruffing. pushing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What yeah. is it called? The Lila? Lilo? 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 Yeah. I don't know. It was in her box. It was in her poosh Christmas swag. Poosh. poosh. Such a funny name. It is kind of a funny name, right? Like poosh. Anyway, what Speaking is it? Of, it's like did a... you get that lip balm? Oh, the Kylie Jenner mm -hmm. and the Poil? I have not yet, no. I haven't gotten around to it, but we will. Don't worry. I'm obsessed with... I think we talked about this. See what? The, uh, the, the bubble bath. Yeah, we did. We talked about that. It's awful. So the new one's the lip oil that I want because it's supposed to make you look young and fresh. And he's going to come lips. back with less, like, chapped, cracked lips. No, I feel like it's going to be goopy and, like, like, You're already like goopy. stick together. You're already goopy. I am, yeah. Check How was Patrick today? <laughs> <laughs> His name's not Patrick. <laughs> it obsessed. rolls off my tongue so easily. Tavia is obsessed with Patrick from Shits Creek. Shits Creek. Yeah. And How's she calls Jacob Patrick, Patrick, which is quite embarrassing. It's mortifying for your life, actually. My life or yours? Yours. <laughs> <laughs> He was great. He I don't think that it is mortifying for my life. 
that you can't remember his name? That's mortifying. Yes. <laughs> I do sometimes pause and I'm like, what's his name again? You always say Why Patrick. Why is that so hard for me? Because you're trying to... You... I just want him to be Patrick. Yeah, he kind of is. We're establishing, don't you think? Yes. Yeah. Right? Right. I don't know. You're just trying There's to... There's a few hidden gems, You're though. trying to fit a square peg into a round hole or something. You either have a white beard hair or... I do. No, but it's like an inch long. Oh, I love it. Oh, but I do, if you look closely, I do have white, white hairs. I mean, you are graying up. I know. Are you going silver? Samantha says you're going silver again. Sure, whatever. I have Why an appointment not? tomorrow, too. Do you want to just hop in on it? Oh, this is not like a hop thing. Like, when you go silver, when you go platinum blonde, it takes hours. Do you not remember me being there for four or five hours at a time? For two sessions? I just... Who would have thunk it? What? That it takes that long. I know. Well, when your hair is jet black, it's actually brown. Can you see? Look at it. It's brown. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. I don't think so. Yeah, it is. Look at it in the light. No, but you are getting your grays. Okay. That's, that's um, me. That was me. No, it's not. We've established that it's cute. So, I think I'm going to cut my hair. Um... My family's not into it, but everybody else in the world is. I vote yes for cutting the hair one more time and then letting it grow. Okay. Luke, Olivia, and Savannah said they do not want they money did to hands cut their hair. Down. Yeah. And then who said? Who else said yes? Lisa. Lisa, what did Lisa say? said yeah. I was super cute. My mom, who absolutely does not like me in short hair, said yes to cut my hair short. She doesn't like you in short hair. She's not. No, she's, she's the one that started it. Your mom said right, it, right? Right. And then I asked Nikki, and she was like, do you remember how depressed you were with short hair? And I was like, was I? Well, it was because you were chopping it because it was, it was dead. dead. Right. That's this why is... you're depressed, not because it was short. Right. This I... is voluntary this shortness. This is voluntary. Yeah, like, I mean, we might as well just take a buzzer. I can do it right now. Luke's got some clippers upstairs. To. Then you can start wearing wigs. I can learn how to lay down the lace front. <laughs> And like cut it, yeah, and smudge it on my head. Like yeah. you have to like glue it to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to tack it down, and then if it lifts. Your hip flexors are so good. What do you mean? Like you're sitting crisscross applesauce. I can't even like barely get my well. You know what I leg to bend. Like you that. know what I do now. I stretch every day after I get off the bike. For how long? I don't know. A couple of minutes. But I don't know if that actually opens up my hip flexors. Well, you got to do the one where you sit. You hold on to the bike and you go like this. You sit. Okay, look at that's what if I tried to cr this is my crisscross. Get it down! Oh, my, Get it down! My God, that was so painful. I was like birth. Did you see that one? That one. This one does like look at this, Colin. That's his, that's where it goes. That's like a ninety degree angle. I feel bad for your husband. I know. You should be able to oh. put your legs behind your. Well, when in the mood, things loosen up. Oh, do they? And that leg can be like here. I don't. But it can't be out here. I don't believe that for my two hip, seconds. Okay, first of all, my hip flexors go this way, not this way. So I can't lay like butterfly with my legs open, but I can get my leg up. Hmm. But if you wanted it up and over, <laughs> then that's not happening. Have you ever thought about taking like a, a vitamin to get some... Some lubrication back in your joints. Do I have that? <laughs> yeah. That's a thing. It's called glucosamine, maybe? Is it meant for like 85 year olds? Uh, probably. But hey, if you want to be loose as a goose. I don't know why my hips are not flexible. I think Luke needs to stretch you. Because Janelle stretches Spencer. You oh, stretch lab. Oh my god. She stretches me. She, tries to, she tried to do it the other day because I was like, yeah, I think we need more flexible. And she's like, let me. Let me see. I'm like, no. Because it's me, scary when she me, stretches you. Let me tell you something about She's me. like, keep that leg straight. <laughs> She's, ah. I love her. She crazy. Do you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. One of my top five, though, favorite people. Mm -hmm. I would put her in a five. Yeah, she's great. Um, let's do a six pack because those are even numbers. I'd put Janelle in one of my six, six packs for sure. Oh, she's just moving down the ladder. No, like think about it. Like you'd grab like a six pack to go somewhere. Oh, so it's like, not like, it's not respectively. No, like if you had like a six pack of cans that you're like, that's the can of drink I'm taking with me. She's for sure one of my cans in my six pack. Mm. Do I make the cut? Absolutely. Oh, okay. 
good. That's good. Samantha. Samantha's shaky. <laughs> she's maybe sometimes in, she's sometimes out. out. Yeah, it depends. I don't on even think day. I could come up with six people that I would want in my six pack. Oh, I think it's selective. Like, there's people you like, but you're not like. I don't know if you always make the six pack. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I think it would just like depend on the event. Like, I think Spencer would make the six pack before Janelle if there was like some sort of like legal problem happening. I well, would. I. I don't know. I feel like Spencer would be able to like go in with the approach of like pretending like he's a lawyer and like solving oh. a problem. Oh yeah. And Janelle would go in there like she's on Desperate Housewives or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> that. Yeah. Not, Janelle would get us killed. Spencer would save our lives. Spencer is actually very very intelligent. He should be a lawyer. He. I don't think he has the the stamina. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's not what I wanted. The the drive. No, like the smarts. No, the, the shut urge. up. <laughs> can't think with you. Okay. Also, back to my story about Janelle. I think, I was looking today because we're back in our competition. I went on a walk today. Oh, wait. Did you guys start today? Yeah. Oh, ours starts tomorrow. Okay. Because they're staggered. Yeah. Well, listen. For some reason, she has like 110 minutes of exercise already. I'm like, what have you, ha like... Okay. I was going to show you this. Okay. Because I am like, I don't get it. First I don't really all, understand it either. I think Janelle's somehow cheating at this game. Hundred because it's very hard for me to beat her, and I work out twice a day. She is such a cheater. All right, let's find her. Jan. Okay, I have three seventy seven today. Did you ride the bike? No, I went for a walk. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. A walk. How was that, by the way? Was it was saying? really. Where'd you guys go around here. Yeah, we just did like a a almost three mile walk in fifty oh, wow. minutes. Yeah. Okay. But here's the deal. It says that. Is this Jan's exercise? Yeah, you know. Yeah, but it said she had like so many loops on her exercise, but maybe she doesn't just just no, thirty six. No, she just looped once. Oh, she did a spin class and she went seven miles. That's pretty far for her. She usually does like six, so she went hard. Oh, she tried. She's trying to beat you. Yeah, it's I guarantee. She saw that. I guarantee that she's trying. She to saw beat that you. I went on a freaking walk and mm -hmm. I'm whomping her. Mm -hmm. well, how, I, how do I? I beat her. I beat her. By I almost, got sixty minutes of exercise today. I beat her by almost a thousand points last time. Really? Mm -hmm. Look at my walk. But to Look their at my cows. To their advantage, they went out this weekend, and so I got two days of. Work out I need to know when they go out because that's when I need to just. That's when you need to pull ahead. Fucking Whoa. strike! <laughs> oh yeah. Um. Yeah. So I'm. So that was my story. Yeah. About I Janelle. She, I think she's just a cheater. I think she is too. How though? Is it, but she. Oh, do, do they guys, have a dog? Do they? Does she put it on her dog and let it run no, around all day? No, definitely not. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, I did. You guys do a competition every week? Yeah. Like back to back? Yes. We do too. Yeah. It's annoying. What is your score? Oh, like, she's killing me. I used to be, I literally think I was like 10 up on her and then she got into this like, let's try. And now she's smoking me. Hmm. So every time I'm like, I really actually don't want to play this game with you anymore, but I can't. Every time I don't accept it, she sends me a text message and it's like. <laughs> I know. She's like, accept please. I, I don't please even, I don't me. even think she says please to me anymore. What are you doing? I'm trying to figure out. Well, what... it's on your phone. Oh no, I think it's on here. No, it's oh. on here. On All right, device. I'll find it. Anyways, yeah, she texted me last night and was like, "Accept," and I was like, "Oh my god." Well, I know. So I saw it today when she when she sent it to me, and I was like, did it real quick, so I didn't get the text. Yeah, because you don't want to get. What are you doing? Fucking, I don't know. Uh, Sorry. Stop will you stop mouth? with the potty mouth? Okay, so she's 17, 17. and you're 10. Yes. So she's been kicking my butt for seven weeks because I got up on her when I was below and I got her on eight, I got her on nine and 10. When we were at week 20, I got her on nine and 10 and then now it's been seven weeks that she kills me. I think it's flip flop for us. I think I'm 17 and she's nine or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I never to know. Yeah. Anyways, what's new? What's new, pussycat? What's whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know if I love doing this in the afternoon. It's different energy for sure. You don't have anything to, you don't have much to give? Well, I'm just more tired in the afternoon. I'm old. Well, you've been laying under the weighted blanket. I think that brought me down. Were you laying under the weighted blanket when my husband got home and just looked at him and said hi? Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So Tavy has this weighted blanket. It's like 25 pounds. It's divine, first of all. It's really comfy. Yeah. It just kind of lulls you to sleep. It's like somebody's just giving you a big hug. That's what it said on the packaging. It says, feels like someone's hugging you. Yeah. And I love it. You hate hugs. Well, that's not a person. That's a thing. Them they. I do not like to be touched. That's for sure. As my leg is draped on top of him. Yeah. Well, mostly like people I don't know or people that I don't know that well. Yeah. Like, like if people. Are we like, okay with Jacob touching you? Yeah. If, the rule of thumb is if you've been inside me, you can touch me. I've never been inside him. <laughs> um, you know when people talk to you and they like have their hand on your shoulder or something? Yeah. I'm like, please don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> or like That's they hold, me. They hold, their, hold your hand like this. Yeah. Like while they're talking to you, I'm like, the whole time I'm like. <laughs> I feel like that's me. I feel like I'll be like, oh my God, how are you? Well, don't do that to people because sometimes they don't like it. Like me. Like if I didn't know you and you did that to me, I would hate it. I would hate every moment of it. Yeah, but you would never be like, I hate her. Or those old ladies that like, like hold your hand and grab, oh God, it's you just be, very awkward. You know what my grandma does because I know she'll never see this? She's so aggressive. You'll like see her or she'll like meet one of my friends and be like, hey, I'm like, Smacks him on the back like so hard. I'm like, that fucking hurts. Like, she's trying to show her dog. I guess. I'm like, oh my god, she's gonna beat the crap out of you. I'm so sorry. Mm. And she's just like, kunk, kunk. I think I've only met your grandma a couple times. Easter? Yeah. Yeah, she's, um, doesn't, yeah, I mean, she doesn't go anywhere right now, right? No, not really. She goes to Blackhawk. 85 scared of covid but we're gonna go gamble it's fine yeah my apparently my family's going to vegas in march i'm like why what is the point well there's no point for you i mean i'm sure i could get in trouble no you can't though there's nothing going on i'm sure i could i just have no desire to go anywhere how do you have no desire I just no desire at all have you seen that tiktok where it's like i use they're like, I can't go back from the coronavirus or something. It's like, I use it for everything. And it's so funny. You sent it to me, yeah. And he's like... We can't come back from this because it's my excuse for everything. everything. Even trying things to... that don't make sense yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> You're trying to help hug me in a panorama? <laughs> <laughs> in a Patricia? <laughs> yeah. I kind yeah, of feel was... like I want to say that to someone. Was... <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to hug me in a Patricia? <laughs> Get away. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty funny. It was funny. I am slowly obsessed with TikTok. But I do I do use it as an excuse because it's like, yeah, I don't know. I'm just not into it. Everything about, everything, the traveling, I don't, I'm done traveling. I don't want people to touch me. You know, I don't want to I'm be, traveling this weekend. I don't want to be at a concert with 3,000 people sweating on me. You know, it just, it, it, COVID fits my lifestyle. I've never wanted to be at a concert with 3,000 people sweating Just on me. sweating all over no. you? No. Mm. I hated concerts to begin with. Like, I felt like that was the red zone. Yeah. I had to know where the exit was at all times. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now with oh, COVID, I'm like... Can you imagine the festivals that I used to go to? Like, 300,000 people. First of all, the fact that you use the word festival, all that leads me to believe is that there was nothing good happening. You were naked, running around, tripping. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Random drugs. Yes. Absolutely. With 300,000 of my closest friends. <laughs> my closest friends. They are for sure in your six pack. No, for, well, because at those places, like, everybody's just so messed up. They're like, I love you. You know, everybody's just friends. I make, make love, not war. I used to make so many friends in the bathroom when we'd go to the bars. I would go to the bathroom and Luke would be like outside, finally open the door and be like, Tavia, are you in there? And like 30 minutes later, I'd be like, sorry, I just made some new friends. Hammered. You're one of those girls. Yeah, and I'd be like, you look beautiful. Stop crying. I think you just wiped your footy hand on me, and I think I smelled it. No, this is the hand that's touching my foot. I think you've touched it with both hands. Let me smell this. No, this smell one like doesn't foot. Let me smell. smell. No. <laughs> it smells like foot, doesn't no, it? No, this one is more funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I got my toast paint ready. Yeah. For our, Cute. our thing. Good. She did white. I did why. Uh, Davy okay. sent me a picture last night of her husband sucking on her toe. <laughs> She's like, first picture, content. 
I was like, and he wasn't actually with no. it in his mouth. No. I was like, I think he actually needs to put it in his no. mouth. No, she was like, held my foot and like stuck his tongue out but didn't touch it. And he was like, Ugh. He's like, are you done taking the <laughs> yeah. picture? And I was like, hold on, hold it. Now put it in your teeth and bite it. He's like, absolutely not doing that. And I was like, he's like, who's blacking out my face? And I was like. We'll put like a bar over his eyes. <laughs> Nobody will know. Nobody he, goes, <laughs> he goes, what did he say? His excuse was, he goes, I actually have a real job. I'm like, you too right now. <laughs> I was like, okay. Okay. True. It's true. <laughs> Luke Alvin. Luke Alvin's like, I'm not trying to get fired. Right. And I'm like, okay. Well. Well, I'm just trying to make some supportive. Does this company, are they like. Are they very conservative about things? Like, if you had an Instagram, what do you have to say? Like, these opinions are my my own thoughts or whatever. Because some companies make you do that. What? I don't know. Like, United. I think that United makes you do that. Um, well, his company's headquarters is in Omaha. Right. So, conservative. So, I mean, obviously. Yeah. We eat meat and potatoes yeah. every night. I like Omaha. I mean... Have you been there? Yeah, I've been there multiple times. Oh, yeah, times. for his uh, Christmas party. Yeah. Every time I went to Omaha, I came home with some different... Disease. Disease and like, I not just, not because of Omaha. Yeah, no, I don't know what it was. But this is just the rush to be in Omaha, and I would come home and out with COVID. I'm like, Luke, I am never gonna have to experience hell of like flying on an airplane, being sick at a hundred thousand. How how high do planes fly? Thirty thousand. Thirty thousand feet. Hundred thousand. <laughs> felt like I was a hundred thousand feet when I was had my feet propped so I didn't fall, my arms propped, and I'm just. Praying my vomit hits the toilet. Oh, that's that's unfortunate. It was so bad. Mm -hmm. Did you not? And my husband, <laughs> we were landing. We were landing when I was sick. Oh. I was sick on an airplane. How did you not? They, like, you scream at me if I'm, like, have my seat down. And you're, I, like, in the full-blown, in the bathroom full vomiting. Full-blown bathroom vomiting. I had, like, the worst migraine ever. I did not drink the night before. Nothing. And I just had the worst migraine. I was so sick on the airplane. Luke, like, fell asleep. I was in the middle seat, and Big Joe was next to me. And by Big Joe, I mean, he was a big dude. And he was great. We talked. He's deaf now because um, he got an ear infection and didn't take care of it. He was, like, in his 50s. He's, he was nice. I was like, I don't feel good. How do you not take care of an ear infection? I don't know. Like, he didn't know, like, that it was that infected that it was just going to go away. And it, like, made him deaf. That's yeah. horrifying. I know. So then I scooted around him and I, my sleeping husband, as I'm sitting there, like trying not to die, went to the bathroom and we're like getting ready to land. I mean, like we're descending and I'm like, Whoa! like all I hear is ding, 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 ding. And Luke was like clicking the like panic button the for the stewardess. stewardess. Yeah. Cause you, <laughs> he didn't know where I went. Yeah. Well, you know, I went to the bathroom. When you oh, yeah. Right. But then I like never came back. Right. Like I, Went in, threw up. I found, like, an open seat right by the toilet and just sat there. And then I'd go back. Yeah. And, like, there was somebody sitting there. I was like, I promise I won't throw up on you. And he's like, okay. And then I just, like, <laughs> run back and forth. And then we were landing. And Luke's like, ding, ding, ding. And he's, like, stood up. and like, Has, do you know where my wife is? Like, is she okay? Is she in the bathroom? Mind you, his entire Denver office was on this plane. Oh, that's embarrassing. I mean, not for me. I was hella sick. I could care less. Well, okay, so I have a question. Yeah. So was the toilet disgusting? Because usually the toilets are really gross on airplanes. Like, was there just, like, toilet paper stuck to your face? Like, no, I, w I wasn't anywhere. My, literally, my face was... You were standing Social up Social distancing. Like... <laughs> because I couldn't get, like, any sort of support other than, like, <laughs> like spreading and holding on because we're going down <laughs> like this. And I'm, like, shaking. And I just, I bent over. I was like, oh, like, I hope to God it made it. Like, it was, it's like, it was a full-on Olympic uh, sport. Oh, my God. It was a sport, and I was just, like, dying, and I finally come out of the bathroom, and Luke's, like, hurtling over Big Joe to, like, come save me, and I walk out, and he looks at me, he's like, are you okay? And I was like, no, no, I'm fucking okay. And then I sat down, and I was like, and, like, <laughs> shoot him away from me, and I just sat there like this, and I was just like, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, and that's when I was oh, like, wow. that was, that was the year after... The rash. Mm, mm -hmm. I remember the rash, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I'm done. I'm done with Omaha. The year before that, I had some sort of like full body rash that was hives, welts. I had to wear a turtleneck and gloves to the airport because I thought people were going to think I had like the measles. 
I itched. So I'm sitting on the airplane like this, like trying not to itch my body. I'll... What was that? Oh, it's A. Oh, are we? Oh, can you shut it off? Alexa, off. I mean, listen, Omaha's beautiful. I would just recommend. No, I, I think that, that I think about this. Like, if you, again, I don't want to travel because, like, what happens if you go somewhere like Europe and then you get diarrhea and you're on a plane for eight hours having explosive diarrhea? Like, this, is this my, sounds horrifying this to me. This is my life. I had explosive vomit. <laughs> And then I like crawled off the airplane. His entire upper management's like at baggage claim. They're like, are you okay? And I was like, no, not okay. Get me home now. Now. Like, don't even look at me. And Luke's like, babe. I was like, shut the fuck. You were sleeping. <laughs> like, <laughs> Such a potty knot today. Sorry. It's the okay. nighttime. Wrap it up for us. Um, okay. So uh, follow us on everything. Um, Spotify, <laughs> iTunes. <laughs> Um, Netflix. Instagram. <laughs> oh, Instagram. We're on Instagram. There's got to be links. Do you like, do you put links to click on? Have you figured that out yet? No. Oh. We're low budget. Anyway. Anyways, we had a great time. I had a great time. Um, so yeah, maybe not evenings. Yeah. I mean, we were like a little nights. lackluster. No, I think we picked it up at the end. Do you think people get to you're, the end though? <laughs> Your story about vomiting was quite funny. If you get to the end, you press a thumbs up just so that we see you. We see you. We see you. Um, well, that's that's how the cookie crumbles. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, join us every Tuesday at 6 a.m. And we'll check you on the next one. Peace. Bye.